Hey guys, Moan Pulver here and today I'm going to share with you why I think hustling only make you tired and not going to make you successful. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Moan Pulver. I've been involved in more than 10 di different businesses over the last few years. I'm here to share and document my journey, my lessons, my mistakes. I made money, I lost money. And I'm here to share with you that if you grow a business by acquisitions, by buying other businesses, this is the fastest way to grow. I'm also here to show you that if you wanted to get into business, your best way is to go and buy existing business and not start one from scratch because you can go and buy existing business with existing management and profit in place. And same goes with growing back acquisitions. I mean, there's only so much sales and marketing you can do. There's only so much, I guess, re innovation of new products that you can do internally. So the other way to do it, the in or inorganic, the organic versus inorganic way to grow is to go and buy other businesses, to buy your competitors or other complementary businesses. And people just don't know that it's going to take you literally the same amount of money probably to start a business as it is to go and buy existing profitable, uh, and I'm talking million dollar businesses. I'm not talking about businesses doing 500 bucks a month. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're using the acquisition target assets as a leverage. To buy those businesses so that's what the channel is all about and i'm here to just share different perspectives and different thoughts and just i uh, guess document and share my journey if you didn't let yet like subscribe comment in the video below but subscribe to the channel it's really really helps me and i'll really appreciate it but anyway let's get to today's topic which is why i think hustling isn't the way to go because in the end of the day many people will tell you hey go out there hustle you need to hustle 24 7 you even see people on Instagram all the time doing hashtag hustling and it makes first of all it's it looks like the, it looks like they hustle all day long and you probably think to yourself oh my god I feel so sad because I don't hustle 24 7 and you feel like you're doing something wrong because every time you even eat or, or I don't know shower or go to the gym you feel like oh my god I'm not hustling I'm doing something wrong I'm losing the opportunity to be successful so first of all I want to I guess remind you that everything you see on social media isn't truth. Like I know people literally who just go out there and do literally photo shoot days just for social media accounts. And then they, they have different shirts and different locations and they have like one good or one long photo shoot day. And then they post things over the year and it makes it make you feel like, oh my God, this guy is living the good life and I'm not and he's hustling all the time and he's he's in amazing places all the time and everything is in his life is perfect so first of all remember this is not real life like what you see in social media many times is not real life it just literally stages that people created specifically for those photos but then at the same time remember that hustling 24 7 i, I don't believe in that because i don't care first of all how much hard you work there's only so many hours of actual productivity that you can have. I can tell you even personally, there's only so many hours I can really be productive. That's why I put those hours first thing in the morning for me. The rest of the hours, you can say that I'm working, but many times those are just phone calls and things that, yes, they are moving me forward. And I, I, I'm at the stage that I feel like all my life is around the business basically. This just because what's really making me fulfilled and satisfied with my progress. At the same time, don't forget that there's only so many actual productive hours that you can do in order to move forward. And people might think that, hey, this guy is hustling 24 seven, but I want to tell you that there's like literally you can do more in one or two hours of focused work than most people do in like a full day of hustling because part of their hustling is reading books or watching seminars or listening to podcasts. And this is not real progress and real hustling or execution. You need to really differentiate between things that are important that actually going to move you forward toward your success. And many times those are things that require you to do things that are outside your comfort zone, that require you many times to hear no's, to hear people telling you, no, this, this offer won't work or no, what you want to do here won't work. And you always need to, I guess, put that in perspective versus just doing random things to feel busy or to feel like you're productive but you're actually not and when you end your day you, you think that maybe now you have more knowledge in your head but is it really moves you forward to, towards your goal most likely not and also the fact that it really depends on where you're at in business right now so if you start and you don't have anything yet in business you don't have any fundamental it 
literally everything you're going to do is better than doing nothing, right? So the more you put time in, eventually you'll probably do some things that are productive as well and you'll move forward a little bit with it. But at some stage, you need to start to work smarter. You need to leverage your time with other people. You need to leverage your time with activities that makes much more sense and have a leverage with maybe more people. Like when I'm doing those videos, I can access with one video, it's literally thousands or I mean more people in just doing one video. And even if right now those videos don't have a lot of views, I know that those videos can be watched literally in years from now and have a huge leverage even moving forward or in many years from now. That's why I really believe in this concept of creating videos and creating content for, for the marketplace. And I'm, I'm getting tons of messages that you like those videos. So I'm, I really enjoyed doing them. And I know that those are the videos that I wish that I had when I started in this journey of in business and buying businesses and growing businesses by acquisitions. So I'm here to just share with you things so you won't make the same mistakes that I did. Because in the end of the day, it's all about the nuances and the small distinctions that give you the breakthroughs that you need and the accountability, obviously, that you're missing. So, yeah, that's that's kind of like it for today, guys. Those are my thoughts. Remember, it's not about hustling. It's about working smart and ideally leverage your time as much as possible. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It's going to really help me with growing this channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think, do you believe in hustling or do you believe in working smarter or maybe both? Um, let me know what are your thoughts about this space in general and see the links in the description below. Um, go there or go to moancouber.com forward slash quiz if you want to work with me and my team on buying your first business or growing your business by acquisitions, by buying other companies. And we are there to help you and eventually even invest in those deals as well. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.